everyone, this is Farina again. Let's have a look at today's language um, topic I want to look with you at, which is, sorry for that strange sentence structure, which is a um, asking questions with do you. First here I want to look at the table with you. For some of you this table is new. For some of you, it is repetition, but everybody has some difficulties with asking questions. So let's have a look at this. When you ask a question, you always start with the question word. Not every question has a question word. You could ask me, for example, how much which is the question word, money do you have? Or you could just ask me, do you have any money? Without the question word. But the samples I have here for you, they all have question words. So question word is number one. Here, what, how far, when, how, how far, how long, how often, how many sweets? The sweets goes with the how many. It's the same thing of how much money. Where or who? That's always number one in a question. Number two is the help verb. Very often this is do. Of course, it can also be in the past, which would be did or when it is third person singular, meaning he, she, or it, it would be does. So you have to use the correct form of the verb do. Sometimes you have another ver help verb in the sentence and then you don't need to. For example, can or here be is the help verb. Of course, in the form of the third person singular, which is is, or in the past, was. So, whatever help verb there is, it is number two. So, if there is no help verb, you use always do for a question. Number two, did. Here you have can, do, did, is, was, does, did, did, does. We'll come to this last one in a minute. Now we have number one, number two. Number three is the subject. Remember the subject is the person, the thing or the door, the animal that does the action. In a normal sentence, when you make a statement, the subject is always first, not so when you ask a question. That changes. So you see, here it's the dog, here it's you, here it's they, he, it, he, she, the little boy, I. Or here is no subject because who is the subject. Who is the thing or the person who does something? So the subject area is empty. Number four is the main verb. Every sentence has a main verb. Here it's again do, because do can also be a main verb. Be can be a main verb. Have can be a main verb. But they are also help verbs, depending where they are in the sentence. So here the main verb is do, jump, go, manage, to walk, talking, visit, gobble up, meaning eating very fast, put, understand. They are all the main verbs of the sentence. And you usually use the base form. Sometimes it's a bit different, like here, 
here you need the two as well. I will not explain you this, otherwise it gets confusing. That's for another day. And then sometimes the sentence stops here, but then other things come. And the order is if you have an object, meaning a person or a thing or an animal, something is done to, you put this object first. Then you have place, and at the very end of the sentence comes time or maybe something else. So let's have a look here. Read the whole sentence. What did the dog do in the garden? Place. How far can you jump? Nothing following. When do you do they go on holiday? Action. How did he manage to finish so quickly? Whatever he did. How far is it to walk from your place? Again, a place. How long was he talking on the phone? Here you see it's the past continuous question. So you have the ing. How often does she visit her elderly parents? That's again a place. How many sweets did the little boy gobble up before dinner? Before dinner is, of course, time. Where did I put my glasses? A problem I have a lot. My glasses are an a object. What did I do to them? I did something to my glasses. Who does understand this table? This table is again the object. Now, with who, you don't need to use does. It's not wrong if you do it, you stress it, but you could just say who and then the main verb understands this table. Would be much simpler to ask the question like this. Now, some of you understand it, some of you may are a bit confused. Don't worry, you will understand it at the later stage. Now, I want to look at a different table with you, just for repetition. Let's have a look at this one. I won't talk too much because I want to try and finish in one video. Okay, so here is another type of table. Do you question structure? For asking question, you often must use do or does in the present simple or did in the past. Okay, do, here it is the helping word, always goes before the subject. Here it should be the thing. I don't know what I wrote here, not the thing, but the thing or person doing the action. That's the subject. And the main verb follows the subject, it means it goes after the subject. Here you see do, does for the present simple, did for the past. Here is the subject, you, we, they, she, he. And here a few sample questions. Do you go to Dublin every Wednesday? Did you go to Dublin yesterday? Do they always go on foot to the train station? Or did they go by bus yesterday? Does she eat meat? Does she like curry? Did she like the food in India? Does he believe her story? Does he still drive? Did he see the accident? And so on. Here I have highlighted that with be, which is the form am, is, are in the present tense, or was, were in the past tense. This is I. This is he, she, it. This is we, you, they. Or was for if it's only one person and were if it's more than one person. Anyway, with those forms we never use to because this counts as a help verb as well. With have, which is very often the main verb, but sometimes it can be used as a help verb, we don't need to 
but it's not grammatically wrong if we do use it. Okay, so here am you I have in brackets because you hardly ever ask about yourself, except if I lost my glasses again, I may ask my son, where have I put my glasses, you know? Or maybe you ask yourself, I don't understand this table. Am I stupid? No, you are not. Your teacher cannot explain it properly. So here you have, I won't read through all those because I want to quickly go over the exercises with you for you, but have a look at it. There are just examples with have and with are, just to make you see you don't really need does, but you can with have, never with be. You never use does. You never use do with can, because can is also a help verb. But that's again another story. So now let's have a look at um, my um, tasks I've put up for you. Here I just want you to put the words into the correct order to make a question. Remember, question word, help verb. If there is none in the sentence, you need to put do or does or did into it, depending if it's past or present, if it is any person or if it's third person singular, he, she, it. Then number three is the subject, the person doing the action, and number four is the main verb in the base form, the way you find it in the dictionary. And if you have other things, they can be followed by object, or by place, or by time. If you have all three of them, this is the order. First the object, then the place, then the time. If you remember all this, and if you practice this, you will never make mistakes in questions anymore. And asking questions in English is very difficult. Now, here, the first two I did for you, that you understand what I want you to do. It is like you English. Now, lots of people which are not native speaker would maybe ask, you like English? But that's not a question. That is a statement. To ask properly, you have to ask, do you like English? You see, the help verb first. Play do football he? Now this do wouldn't need to be here. I take that out. Sorry for that. Because you have to put that in yourself. Does he play football? You can't ask he play football because it would be he plays football and that's a statement, not a question. If you want to ask a question, does he play football? Okay, now we have one and a half minutes left to look at the second um, task, which I have here. I want you to make the question with the question word. Now, I, re I have again put down remember, except for who used the verb do in the present or did in the past, or of course does, if it's third person singular, Exceptions are with have, be, and can. Then you don't need to use do. You can use them as help verbs to ask the question. The first one I have done for you, oh, actually the first two I did for you. So here my son is eight years old. I want you to ask a question with the question word who and the question word how. So how old is your son? The answer is eight, or he's eight years old. Who is eight years old? My son. Number two, I went to Dublin yesterday. I want you to ask a question with where. So the question is, where did you go yesterday? The answer is to Dublin. Or if you want the long answer, I went to Dublin. Now you see there are 10 sentences following, each of them 
has a question word in brackets here, which I want you to use to ask the 